हेलो सुबह अलकुम हेलो साइकिल हेलो अलकुम सुनते बच्चे तो is joining today आजकल जो टॉपिक से रचे कोड सिंबल एंड नेम्स कोड सिंबल्स एंड नेम्स आर वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक इन पीएलसी प्रोग्रामिंग not only uh, it's actually standardize the whole project it also helps all the stakeholders like uh, project manager managers uh, and then sales teams to the you know uh, drafting man and then instrumentation engineer electrical engineer and then finally the software engineers who does the coding of the plc so it, it actually standardize the project variables like name of the instrument coding and tag and how they function in one factory or to all across the all the departments so there are actually few uh, types of diagram used in instrumentation electrical and uh, you know in plc programming especially in the field it involves combination of uh, electrical and instrumentation as well as you know some functional variables pfd actually i have uh, given some link of uh, what they are in the github uh, 
PFD here. Uh, PFD is actually process flow diagram. Uh, process flow diagram. It is kind of overview of the whole plant. If it is a very big plant, uh, for the top management, how to understand in one sheet, one paper, they want to understand the whole plant. So that's the PFD does. PFD uh, actually is a kind of draw the miniature version of the whole plant, but in summary, overview. And process instrument diagram is kind of detail. It's like a more detail than PFD, but it is uh, still not as much detail required for you know, mechanical engineer or piping engineer because there is uh, not enough information like length and you know size and uh, where uh, the instruments to be installed and what is the distance gap between lands and pipes those details are not mentioned but it is uh, quite m more I mean uh, enough for instrumentation and the process engineers to understand the process. Loop diagram is a kind of uh, loop sheet we call, but it's also kind of drawing uh, where the connection is mentioned. One electrical where the signals are going from where to where, like it's a one panel to another panel, and then field in which instrument those loops are actually drawn in this loop diagram and functional diagram is like uh, the f uh, instrument diagram plus some functional uh, you know uh, uh, thing is mentioned additionally so in uh, this uh, instrumentation uh, to be uh, you know standard uh, some names and symbols to be standardized. Uh, the valve should be drawn in everywhere in the same manner to understand that this is the valve and what kind of valve and for valve what should be the tag name. And those identification letters is actually uh, given by one standard organization, IEC or IAC on the organization they have this uh, kind of documents instrumentation symbol and identification i have somewhere more downloadable version i think this one is downloadable you can download this uh, file so it's a isa 5.1 2019 last version so this book actually defines all the detail about the plant identification this is one of the identification letter for example for the level measurement a level sensor or level related any instrument uh, the tag name will start you know from L and for flow it is F for voltage it is E and the analyzer any kind of analyzer will start like uh, with the A and pressure is will uh, it will start with the p so these are standardized so once this is you know uh, accepted in any project that we will follow this guideline and wherever our instruments and you know uh, tags to be used we we will use this nomenclature so in that way uh, engineers across the department they uh, you know will understand they will not have any misunderstanding and why you know why some instrument names like that way so from the letter from the tag name itself they will have a lot of information this document has a lot of details and also it has some of the instrument device and symbols uh, in the drawing, the if it is a kind of binary instrument, uh, then it it should be rounded. And if it is shared instrument, shared means uh, you know shared display and shared control. So this kind of instrument to be uh, 
marked this way. For example, uh, the pressure. Pressure sensor is connected to PLC, but the pressure uh, value is displayed on HMI. So in that case, that pressure sensor symbol will be marked like this. But if something is only connected with the PLC but not any, any display device, then without this square. Uh, this dotted means actually behind the panel or inside the panel, not in front of the panel. If it is clean, um, you know, line, that means it is in front of the panel. It's in the front side. So this is uh, located in front of secondary or local panel, this double line. And this is the main panel, single line is the main panel. And dotted is always behind the panel or inside the panel. And then there we have some symbol for other devices like um, mathematical and or kind of symbol. But this is rarely used. Uh, this is the symbol for the measurement uh, variable where to put the tag. This is where the tag is mentioned inside the circle. But if uh, the circle is small and tag is big, then uh, actually one part of the circle is uh, left, you know, uh, unconnected and tag goes uh, across the circle. It's not shown here, uh, should be somewhere. So whatever used in instrument uh, in, in industry a factory line every almost every symbol is available in this document or near approximate so this is i have to go through next hmm. one example I want to show. Okay, let's go here. So this is uh, like first letter, and uh, two letters uh, we can actually choose from here. And then instrument line also now lines also has meaning. If it is straight line, you know, sing without dotted or. Uh, uh, in any this kind of symbol is there that means it's a flow line and mechanical line is linked with this dotted circle data link like computer and communication cable uh, is linked through this one circle and then line data link this is also dot independent system radio is marked with this one okay I have gone through this one it's the same thing discrete instrument shared with this uh, square mark it is shared computer function is the hexagon this one then logic is this uh, you know a diamond mark here is the con different kind of control valve and damper symbol this is general valve symbol this is rotary valve and this is diaphragm globe valve so this is usually used in instrument uh, drawing pnid drawing actuator symbol the diaphragm actuator electric actuator solenoid valve actuator s is this is uh, actually name is used s for solenoid m for uh, motorized and p is used here for the positioner analog positioner this is not visible quite right okay in some cases actually more detail is mentioned like fail to open if the valve is fail to open type of valve like fail to open means what it has open feedback the valve has open feedback uh, you know sensor installed that means that valve 
can give feedback to the PLC whether the valve uh, is failed or not, the PLC can actually determine. So the open feedback is available for this one. This one is locked sensor is possible for this valve. So this is uh, more detail uh, for the valve, valve single symbol. And there is a level measurement symbol available. So the different kind of level measurement is possible. Radar and then uh, ultrasonic, laser, uh, tape and float, capacitive, bubbler, then hydrostatic, the displacers. So all has different kind of symbol. And flow measurement is very complex because in the market there are you know tens of uh, I mean dozens of flow measurement technology and each is uh, you know defined in different way there is also uh, equipment symbol like this is motor or mixer conveyor belt is you know sim symbol is this jacket vessel where the vessel is heated or cooled by the jacket and this is motor driven fan centrifugal pump pressure vessels and company also sometimes uh, make it more uh, representable so they make it colorful and you know nice to represent in their HMI sometimes based on this equipment and symbol but uh, in drawing actually they are uh, look like this a simple in drawing but in HMI and SCADA usually you know they want more presentable form and what is LLL HLL and this is kind of HMI uh, uh, we, we, we actually sometimes create alarm it's like low, low, low. That means very, very low uh, level. And this combination, high, high, and low, low. And here is in instrument also we use this kind of uh, presentation. Like here, if you see um, this LAH, LAL, this is actually level <coughs> alarm high and level alarm low. So this to uh, computer this is shared information so this means you see the square mark that means uh, this information is shared between PLC and HMI so this information PLC also has as well as HMI also has this information but uh, this one is local this round uh, rounded instrument symbol these are installed locally on the tank and then from local here uh, through the dotted line it goes to the PLC and then it is shared with the HMI and <coughs> these are actually mainly used uh, variable uh, in PLC I have just mentioned here few because these are most repeated uh, names in PLC programming like flow rate, <coughs> level pressure, quality, speed, temperature. <coughs> and the emergency or safety instruments code is like high level extreme high level HH low level and extreme low level these are actually uh, based on process uh, logic it can trigger some kind of alarm and uh, then it can actually stop some some of the process things like valves or pumps and uh, structure of the instrument code if you see here Uh, one of them may be L Z T and then one zero one so, and then T L one zero three L T one zero three so this first uh, the alphabetic uh, name is indicating the type of instrument 
and then second numeric values are actually the number of that instrument representing you know uh, location of those instruments so it's actually to identify them their location and uh, kind of instrument so here xx is the ide uh, identity of the process uh, it has one example here it's a process 10 is the uh, the tank number let's say and then t is for tank and then tag number is the is just identification another a is a letter code containing two or more letters used to identify the instrument function so in this case it is a instrument function here l z t t uh, t l l i these are instrument function but if there, there there is unit involved then unit name is mentioned just before this number for example here so 10 is the unit number that means the whole uh, the whole tank is uh, you know identified as the 10 number of uh, tank so ten where the instrument is installed is a tank number 10 and then it comes plc variable names in plc mostly we have some logic it is actually logic that's why we call programmable logic and if we calculate those logics uh, theoretically it is like a is equal to b into c but if we don't give proper name it's very difficult for programmer to understand so what <coughs> programmers do is, is kind of they give the variables proper name to understand like weekly pay equal to hours work multiplied by hourly pay rate this kind of thing so here is some guideline for plc for naming also Just like in instrumentation, uh, symbols and codes are used for the standardization. PLC also, some of them are standardized, but this is also company to company. Some company use mm, different convention and other, mm, it's based, their, based on their, you know, uh, previous experience, how they are working and what they prefer. Maybe it depends also on the senior engineer who is actually convincing that they follow his uh, you know way of working so usually motor starter like ms control relay cr or k solenoid valve sv and then switch sw push button pv and if it is hmi push button then h then pv master control relay the limit switch is ls so this is prefix and then we can name you know underscore maybe five number number five switch those kind of things and uh, we try to uh, you know match this process tag with the process instrument tag name like process flow transmitter ft it is similar to the process instrument you know uh, code valve hv or fb then limit switch ls l or lsh low and high FIC is a uh, instrument control, uh, pressure instrument control, and then push button HS and HIS. Proximity switch switch is Z, and then S switch. The motor starter M, PT for pressure transmitter. Now, if we want to
circle are you getting oh yes i am getting coding here related to valve only but we will try to use little bit complex like with feedback and you know maybe uh, two commands and also we'll try to use uh, HMI to start uh, open and close Okay, so other day we have done this programming to open and close the valve and then we will do another kind of valve with feedback and see uh, how our ChatGPT is responding because we have taught ChatGPT about the valve so it must respond uh, the relevant code this is going to be valve 2 in uh, as per the open plc the standard the function block also has you know standard how it should be named and so forth we have actually let's uh, just open that one there is one standard why you need to standardize PLC variable naming convention? Okay, PLC guidelines. English. This one, I guess. Yes. So it has actually all the variable name, how it is uh, standardized by PLC open, which is actually kind of creating PLC programming standard IC 61131-3 so if it is array then it will start with the A structure ST for program PRG boolean X or B so this is the standard and then we have uh, local scope L G for global POU parameter P temporary variable TMP I guess it has some thing for block also. Block is not given here. But anyway, it it can be standardized like PRG and then the name of the valve like valve 2. Or maybe it's a valve with open feedback this kind of name and the static let's uh, ask chat gbt to create the program we open here we You are 
e, PLC program programmer export export see programmer one two you to write code for the following So uh, it's like setting the chat GPT to you know export uh, mode. So we are expecting high level, high uh, quality code from the chat GPT. It's like prompt engineering uh, to make sure I will be able to assist you in writing appropriate PLC code. So let's just give him the problem. We have a valve valve with open feedback we want to control the valve from PLC control panel push button push buttons open pv and close pv as well as from hmi by open and open push button button and close button it fail I save fail to open alarm for HMI and also turn on Bazaar and fail to open alarm is triggered. Give us the code says ST code program. Let's try to get the code uh, for the PLC. So here is given the program description now how it is working open valve method method is actually function is called when the open button is pressed it sets the open button signal to true to simulate the valve opening and waits for open feedback signal to indicate that valve is open if the open feedback signal does not turn on within specified delay indicating a fail to open condition fail to open alarm is triggered and buzzer is turned on and close valve method is called when the close button is pressed it sets the close button signal to true to simulate the valve closing wait for appropriate delay before resetting the close button 
main cycle method is the main control loop so this main program where the other functions are called but it's actually has given pretty neat description to the code how it's working so this is main cycle and when the open button is you know uh, pressed th this open valve function is called when close button is pressed close valve function is called and if not failed to open alarm, buzzer is turned off. Fail to open, fail to open alarm is set to false. Why this is? Okay, we'll come to. Uh, this is not right. Okay, we'll make it right. Yeah, okay, let's do the programming. So here is the program. We have to actually copy this part or cut this part and paste inside this. And then delete this one. We don't need it. We also need this part here. Open delay one second, co close delay one second, and fail to open delay five second. Okay, and then method uh, this method valve open is going to be different function. We can create a function. this uh, into here and then call this inside here and then delay open delay this is also wrong because this is not the PLC instruction it has to be a timer so this is not correct if not uh, open PLC feedback so this is checking the feedback so this feedback is available here dot feedback and then fail to open alarm okay fail to open alarm also available inside this program 
we can link it here again delay fail to open delay this is also wrong this is not available we can actually mark you know kind of comment it if we don't need we can comment it and then bazaar so this bazaar is also declared inside this program i guess somewhere it's not available here so this bazaar is came where hmm. it should be here in the main fail to alarm ke baad ah is here this one so bazaar is also available inside this program and open button is this one what this program is doing when we are calling this uh, function open valve it is actually giving the command to open for the open command we need true like uh, 24 volt you know signal so we are turning on the relay open uh, command and then we are waiting for the feedback so this feedback is actually should come from the valve so if valve signal is not there then actually we can raise alarm that okay this uh, valve is failed to open because we didn't receive the open feedback and then we actually turn on the buzzer for the operator to know that there is something wrong the valve is not open even it, we try to open by pressing the button so if valve is not open or it is open finally we actually reset the open button it's like uh, <coughs> button signal uh, if it is hmi button so once we press the button it is actually on after even if h you know operator remove the finger from the button it has to be reset right so that's it is done here reset the open button and similarly it should be done for the close valve function so this so this is another function close valve we can copy here we are going to move remove from here and create another function like close valve function type and this is easy for close valve because it has no feedback once the close command is given it is closed so this is some function available the variable declared inside this so uh, we can link this variable and then this is also wrong we don't have we can actually uh, give delay but this delay instruction is not right this is close method close function what else is there main cycle okay so main cycle is where it's supposed to be inside this so that code should be inside here but we will do one thing we will modify uh we'll copy this one and we'll call it here inside the main this is plc main program and then it goes here so now we can do actually this part of the code we can copy from here and put it here So 
what will happen it will come here if open uh, if open button is pressed then call this function if close button is pressed then call this function close valve and if not fail to open alarm then buzzer reset and then reset fail to open alarm fail to open alarm is reset in every scan so this is not right location to actually say it reset we can actually reset at the beginning fail to at the beginning we have to put here fail to open alarm we reset at the beginning of scan and then when this valve is you know this uh, program is scanned if during this scanning it found that this condition is true uh, it will actually uh, set fail to open alarm every time but if this line is pasted here at the end even though there is alarm uh, the alarm will get reset at the end because uh, you know last time I said the program scan from top to bottom so when it reach the bottom uh, it will actually reset uh, the code reset the alarm this one so it's a better to reset uh, any variable that need to be reset or set to initial stage we have to use at the beginning and then we do the programming so if in as per the logic it gets set it's uh, good so this is one kind of valve uh, programming now let's try to see if we have different uh, valve with uh, both open feedback and closed feedback so what will happen this part of the code is for the feedback to check whether it is uh, fail to open or fail to close so this part of the code also will be included here in the close valve so let's see if it is doing that thing automatically mm -hmm. this part if I just ask ChatGPT this this line of code should be at the beginning and now uh, let's see how is it, whether it is correcting itself or not see it has uh, put that line at the beginning in the main cycle so now it is matching with our program if not fail to open alarm then buzzer reset so this is good uh, it's actually perfectly what we did if it is not you see exactly matching with our requirement by placing this at the beginning of the main cycle it ensures the alarm is reset before any other logic is executed so this is what uh, the explanation is also given so it understood uh, perfectly why we want that line to be at the beginning it's very clever that it knows the reason why we put this code at the beginning so le let's uh, we do the same thing with little modification we have a valve with open feedback and close feedback feedback we want to control the valve from the PLC control panel push buttons namely 
let's say open pb and close pb okay we also want to control the valve from hmi by open button and close button create fail to open alarm for hmi and also turn on buzzer when fail to alarm is triggered fail to alarm and fail to close alarm for hmi and also turn on buzzer when fail alarm is triggered failed to open or close alarm alarm is triggered write the code ft code for the course is st program now uh, we also want we need 5 second delay for fail to alarm fail to open alarm to trigger and 7 seconds for fail to close alarm to trigger operator can reset the buzzer by acknowledge the alarm at the HMI okay now operator can reset the button by acknowledging acknowledging the alarm at the HMI screen let's see how it's doing Okay, so it has created the logic and also given the description here. We will need to replace the placeholder comment, set any necessary output for valve control with actual PLC logic. So yes, this is just a code without PLC hardware you know, output address. So it has given that uh, notification note. Make sure, the conf make sure to configure the input output variable according to your PLC hardware setup. So here a valve control from both PLC control panel push buttons and the HMI buttons. It monitors the open close feedback from valve and triggers the fail to open or close alarms after the spe uh, specified delay times. Buzzer is turned on when the alarms are triggered. Operator can acknowledge the alarm at the HMI screen to reset them. Uh, remember to adapt and customize this code of course. Uh, we need to uh, adapt this. So let's see if we can use it. Uh, this time it has more code it seems like. 
maybe we can create uh, another p o u p r g valve with open and close feedback p r g Okay, we need this to be here. I don't need this. Okay, we need this code here. This is variable declaration part. This is the main program. Okay, we want main program to be here, uh, but uh, without name. program and method so this time the code is little different okay uh, main uh, open pv or open button so this is uh, how we have actually described the problem open pb i have given this name for a uh, push button in the control panel and for the hmi open button and close button so it perfectly actually using that same name uh, open button for a uh, control panel and this is hmi button one of them is true then set the valve open so what we can do here we simply can call this block what we have done previously we have done this uh, you know program for the open valve right we can simply call that valve and it should work perfectly uh, but the thing is that variable we have used are from here open button and close button so this should not this will not work okay and then if close button close button and close button this is to close the valve in this case also we cannot call this block because inside this block we have used the variable from this block not this block so if we can use the function we have to actually uh, reference the variable correctly otherwise it will not work So this is perfectly use. Uh, this is a one use case that why a function and function block need to be standardized with the inputs and outputs because we have not standardized the function and we are directly using other function blocks variable or program block variable. It is not a standard function. It is just a function uh, with the variable linked to other blocks. Uh, a standard function will have a variable with the input and some output calculation is done by using the input variable value and then output result is sent to the output variable we will do in the next uh, next session how we can standardize the block uh, function and you know program and how we can uh, use the same valve function in multiple fun you know uh, program block any kind of you know uh, 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 valve whether it is without function uh, feedback with feedback open only open feedback only closed feedback any kind of valve if it is uh, you know called it should work perfectly fine so that's uh, in the next session i will prepare on session now this will make us little uh, weird because in this case we need to kind of create different function we cannot use this function 
because it's, it is used for other, you know, function block. And if feedback, open feedback is not there, then it will actually trigger a timer. This is good. This time it has actually taken a proper timer, open alarm timer, open alarm timer, on delay timer. T on is for on delay timer. And it is uh, also defining the delay time. Uh, okay, this variable is not defined, but it is assigned. Okay, it's there. Okay, so this is wrong. This should be pair underscore constant and where why is not taking? underscore is not there okay Something is not right. Variable type was not given. So ChatGPT is actually not doing right even though it is expert PLC programmer. Now this timer will run perfectly fine and uh, now when it is uh, feedback is not there time will run and when there is feedback it will reset the timer close the alarm similarly after it is executed when the timer is running in case there is alarm alarm means the timer is actually expired it is running more than five second then open alarm is generated bazaar also started similarly for close alarm q mm, this is open alarm this is close alarm okay there is two code this is for open this is for close that's a similar close alarm trigger but it's checking timer this is open timer close timer and then if there is a alarm and buzzer is you know uh, you know uh, it's uh, on then operator can acknowledge by you know setting some you know acknowledging the button or somewhere there should be some button to acknowledge the alarm in HMI or in the control panel PLC panel also there should be some reset button like uh, stop the buzzer so th if that is pressed then open alarm and close and whatever the alarm is there it should get reset so that's how uh, the alarm gets reset i think we can stop today uh, time is over next day we will have standard blocks standard function and function blocks and programs mm -hmm. so forth uh Soeb, how are you I'm fine. I cannot hear. Hello? Sunai nahi de raha hai. Sunte bachche na. Hello? Sunte bachche ni? Haan, ebar sunte bachche. Problem, net of problem bachche. So, to bachche bachche. Kichu boost the ball lehe? Emni, problem to aachhe ki. Dick here, I'm a 
internet to ekhon lot of things are free youtube is free if anyone can learn they learn from anywhere but practice is more important okay thank you we close today ah uh, cycle bujhte parli ajke ha bujhte parchi acha theek ache next tuesday okay bye assalam alaikum namaskar